It's that time again. What time is that? Well, figure it out for yourself. We have to play the FSS Banana Boat, which they like to call the Ari Ariolamax, whatever the hell that name comes from. It's the Banana Boat. Everyone call. It. I mean, it's the only ship in the game that is bright yellow. All right. Every other ship has strange green steel colors, and this one, a dead beacon. How about that? Total banana boat. Just bright yellow. You think that would be a slug then? This bright yellow. I find four fuel. I haven't found enough scrap to exploit that store, and it would have been really nice to do that. <clears throat> what you can do right now is hack his shields. He will, in fact. And you can brainwash his pilot and then attack his weapons. I was hoping an asteroid, an opportune asteroid at that, would attack his um, weapons. Looks like he's going to attack my hacking. No, no, he's going to be there. And I might as well take his weapon offline if I can help it. Nope, that stayed online. Oh, he shuffled. Good. I'm cool with that. If I can take away his shield, actually I'll be able to hack it soon enough. So I'm going to pull this out, hack it, attack, there. Four fuel and three missiles is a good surrender option in the first sector, so I will take it. And he's not pursuing anybody, so, you know. Well, now I gotta wait for the um, ionization, if you will, to wear off. Ion damage, as in the cooldown time. Uses that for the ion damage indicator as well, so. I don't think one, two. We'll have two jumps before the store, but I doubt I'm going to get much in the way of usable material. Yeah, I'll, I'll respond to the merchant. And, um, yeah. This guy's a week late. Add a quest to your marker beacon. This is the dicky besides, so we have to go this way. Uh, hacking system. Counter the remote hacking. He, um... He wants to hack my engines, but I only have one bar of engines anyway. So, whatever, I'll just continue. I don't care if it's too power, it doesn't make a difference to me, but what does make a difference to me is... His ion and beam combination, which is annoying. Um, yeah, I don't want to have an ion ionized shield while that pike beam is about to fire. There you go. And better take that off and put it back online. Hitting the clone base fine. It looks like he's going to get another shot in. Alright. Oh, come on. When's the pipe beam going to fire? Okay. Probably don't have to do that for two cycles. But... Alright, now we can hack. Do I really want to hack? Ooh, if I hack his shields, I'll be wasting a drone part. Um, could mind control it and then attack his weapons. Or his piloting, or whatever. See, I don't want to waste that. I probably can wait this one out, but I'm not going to. What I want to do is... Mind control is pilot, and then attack shields. Oh, he's gonna get distracted here. All right, there. Oh, he hit the he hit the he hit the uh, shield room anyway. Hit the shield room twice. Maybe I can hit the weapons before the pike beam fires. I don't want to take that much damage. Yeah, there you go. Level 2 piloting system, that's actually pretty... That's not fair for first sector, I don't think, but whatever. 2 fuel and 13 scrap. The only thing I have to sell is the slug repair job for 30. And this is like an extra 25 or 30. So if they had burst laser mark 2 in there, I could buy it. But I think it's better if I just ignore the store for now. Um, auto attack this to get the automate. Now he has cloak, that's the problem. This is pointless. Mind control, I mean. 
Um, I don't think this is going to work. Because I don't think I'm going to get there in time. Oh, oh, nope, nope. Ugh. Missile missed, though. That makes me feel pretty good. Should be able to attack him before he gets another shot off. Yeah. I don't care about the cloak so much. Because when he gets the missile launcher back online, it'll be a while, so... Small amount of time. I'm not sure how fast he repairs himself. If, he, if this pops back online before I fire, then I'll hack it, but... Yeah, it looks like I'm fine. The hack probably didn't really matter at this stage. Eight scrap. Not impressive. Maybe this store has something... Nothing's for 30 except long-range scanners. Sensors, cloaking, distraction buoys, battery charger, and a crew member. Not even crew is 30. Not even crew are 30. Slugger repair gel would give me 30, I'd have 60. I don't like selling that, but 60 for... Not much. I could buy a Mantis. Uh, this is the this is drone control, but I would like sensors. But looks like I'll have to just hold up on buying shit. And all right, looks like I'm going to have to go. Okay, how many jumps do you think I have for the exit? Looks like three. So yeah, so I'll go that way down to the quest and up. Pay their toll? Nah. Not interested in paying your toll. Flak is only 10 seconds, and my charge laser is longer than that. I don't want to get hit by Flak. Yeah. I don't think these, these shots go at the same time, but... I do want to try and knock it offline. I did. Yay. Ion stunner, but there's nobody in the shield room, so we're fine. Damn! All right. Maybe I should attack shields or something. Alright, he's getting all excited now, but, um... Five, five fuel and seven missiles is a good surrender option for first sector, so I'll take it. No drone parts, though. Stocking up on missiles in case I find a, pla a black market place to sell them. Great to have 15 missiles for 45 scrap. Looks like I have two jumps. Your ship seems reasonably equipped. You begin to look for the lost ship. Promise to deliver the cargo and ask if anyone will be interested in joining your crew. Vincent! Vincent, you may join the crew and stay on shields, if you don't mind. And okay, I could probably I should probably hack drones and then attack drones. That drone could be problematic. Wait a bit. And there. I probably Oh, he blew up. Great. It's random. Uh let's see if we can attack shields. It'll take him seven or so seconds, I don't know, to get um, another drone popped up, maybe five. Yeah, okay, there's another one. Uh-oh. Okay. Here we go. Shield's down. Now I can take uh, drones offline. Let's hack his drones again. So if I hack his drones, then I'll, I can just attack his... Uh... I could be mind-controlling him at this point, but... I don't find a reason to. Um, shields down. Hacking drone. Let's just attack drone. Because they're all in there anyway. I missed both? How'd I miss both?
Uh, that's pretty paltry, actually. I won't accept that. Two fuel and three missiles. I won't accept that. Can't believe they all have level two or three helm. Need to get level two hack to grab knock shields down. All right, sector one complete. Uh, repair five damage. No, I'm, I'm fine. North the station. Yeah, we're good. And hold on a second. Where were we? All right, where should I? I need power if I upgrade stuff. I would like to upgrade shields, but I also want to upgrade my hacking and mind control because without level 2, they're just novelties at best. And they both take, you know, a respectable amount. And this is cheaper. And I don't have the power to run it. Technically, I do if I take the power out of those two things negating the point of this ship in the first place. And mind control or hacking. Yeah, I see. Uncharted Nebula, Abandoned Sector. I don't really care about the Abandoned Sector so much, but you might get some fun stuff there. I don't have Alanius, but you can get Alanius there if you have 40 scrap. Uh, they have some pretty hard weapons, though. Sometimes this is pretty dangerous, even at Sector 2. All right, well, we, the quest would be in any sector, so it didn't matter. Uh, okay, well, you stumble across the damaged Lannis craft, jumps away. Looking around, I found some stuff. And here's a power bar. All right. I don't have 40 scrap. Attempt to harvest some for yourself. It's a Lannis ship. Oh, great, he's gonna hack me. He's going to hack my door syst shield system, which is not good, because he has four shots. If I attack his weapon system... And which one will fire first? Okay, that one is firing. Then I will hack. Then I will fire on it. Yep, my hacking system just went offline. Great. Slug repair gel. Yay. Attack his weapon. Damn. <laughs> See, they always have really bad weapon selections. It's like bad as in painful. Here. Okay, I took one of his shots. Oh, he hacked me just at the wrong moment. Okay. There, hack his weapons. Alright, his weapons are offline. Let's see if I can take his evade away. Uh, level 2 helm. Actually, um. Take away his shield. If I mind control him right now. There. And I don't think there's a way for me to kill him. Nah. Not before the ship explodes. Investigate the debris! Spelt debris. Yes. I guess, you know, the hacking for the shield should have been in this section. Not this one. Almost got 40 scrap. I might consider buying the Lanius. Attack the Lanius. Try to contact the Lanius. Help! The metal monsters are coming to melt down our ship. Let's attack the Lanius. He's gonna hack me. Where? Looks like, um, doors? No, helm. So now I have no evade. <laughs> Fortunately, he can't hurt me with this weapon setup. I don't even have to hack him, I don't think. I can just fire my chain and then hypnotize his, um, crew. Yeah. Yeah, like that. There you go. 
And maybe he'll take the helm down, but it's probably level 2 like every other helm we've had in this game so far. Okay, there you go. Ooh, accept their offer. Um, Images of their well-filled cargo hold follow. I'll take it. I can sell the anti-bio beam. I don't really want it, but it's the poor man's boarding. Maybe I'll upgrade weapons and try to use it. Ah, oh, well, anti-ship beam drone. No, I just need the power to run it. And hacking's only level 1, so the most I can get out of the hacking is to prevent the missile from firing one time. Um, which might be helpful. I would like to hack the shields, but that's a gamble at best. So is this, by the way. Um, I will get enough time in to fire, but both shots have to hit. Nope. Oh! Right in the weapons he juggled. Great! And you know what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to mind control the pilot. Take away some of his evade. There goes his weapons. Let's see if I can knock his shield down, then we'll be good to go. And the asteroids can maybe. Three fuel and five missiles. Uh, for sector two. No. Five missiles, man, it's iffy. I'm not using missiles, but three fuel, I got 20, so. Three fuel and five missiles. Three fuel, two missiles. So I, I gave up a few missiles, but everything else is fine. Wish I could upgrade my power right now, but I can't. 22, 22, and 12. For some reason, that number system looks cool. Um, stay out of this fight. We'll make it worth your while. Nah, I'm good. And I'm running low on drones because I keep hacking weapon systems to keep from them firing missiles. Which is fine, it's understandable. And let's hypnotize now. There you go, missile offline. If I can save some damage, I guess I'll pop a drone, but it gets costly because drones are expensive if you try to buy them. Okay, he can't dodge now. Maybe I should attack shields. Because my hacking system is back online anyway. Alright, there we go. Probably... Ooh, if I brainwash him right now before he gets out... There. Five missiles. One drone part. I like the drone, but... Sorry. Um, there. Lanius are not fireproof, by the way. Oh, that's right, he's got a clone bay. Well, if he, if he destroys that, then the ship is dead, so might as well do it for him. 18 scrap, 12. Uh, alright. There's some power. There's the anti-bio beam. If I can get the shields down, then it'll make it worth my while, I suppose. Wasn't expecting the bio beam. For th oh well, I'll I'll accept that. Don't need the missiles, and that's pretty good. One more power will upgrade my engines by one, and then I can do helm just because it makes me feel all warm and squishy inside. Probably should have saved that twenty, but I'm fine. Lanius, um, he can't pierce my shields. If I attack him. I think I'll try to kill his crew, because he can't heal. Yeah. Here. You guys are in there. I'll chain laser that same area. And then we'll just bio-beam you. Look at that. Sweet. Oh, well there you go. Um, One more attack and he should die. Oh man. I'm trying to hit you. Well, whatever. If he's going to repair that. There. There are no more life signs on the ship. <laughs> there goes the beam. Uh, 24-5. I can upgrade engines again. Which would be cool. I don't really have the power to run it if I want to run both of these systems at once. But um, I guess I can hold out for a little bit. 
Oh, I was hoping I can get to that one, but I guess I can't. <laughs> Ally ASB. Well, that's nice. Um, is that a dual laser? Or is that just a single shot laser? I can never tell. Here. I'm going to chain laser you guys. There. No more life signs. And I finish him off, and the battery would fail to rage as an existence. You best leave before you get caught up into it again. Will this hit them, or will it auto lose? It is allies. Oh, man. It's, I guess it's a scripted to miss, just like it always is with you. I have enough to get to both these beacons. Yeah. Intruders on board. Wow! Um, right. Can I vent anything up here? Not really. I can vent this room. Yeah. Now he wants to get into the doors. I can stall them. If I send the NG in a little bit. Oh, no, I guess not. They're a little bit too smart for that. Uh-oh. Yeah, I had to take... Alright, let's 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 turn the oxygen off. See if we can suffocate them a little bit easier. Actually, um... You're gonna suffocate that way, and if I close this door... Turn the oxygen back on. Close that door. I could probably go into doors and breathe in a minute. And I can go all the way up here... I hope I don't get any hull damage out of that. Okay, I'm gonna flood you guys out. Alright, everything is fine. Except my slugs who will need to respawn. I was hoping not to croak, but you know, it's fine. I actually kept my slug alive. That's incredible. He has one health. I, st I always said there should be a reward for that, if you get down to one health and survive. Yeah, let's close all doors and um, put you back where you can breathe. How about that? Uh, close those, and everyone can return to base. There you go. 45 scrap. Shane, this isn't connected up, because I think there's enough time for two jumps here. But, nope. That was a dead end. Uh, I could attack the pirate. My drone counts down to 13. Just hack it right away. It's alright. They'll delay it as long, no matter what. Um, I still have mind control, which I can mind control right now. Okay, shields are gone. There, the bio beam. Ha. Weapons are down, so. Okay, where are you going? Trying to get in there? I think I can kill you. Yep! And I get Beth! Beth the rock bitch. Um. I don't really have a spot for her. To be honest. Actually, I could put her on shields and I could put NG on mobile unit, i.e. doors. There. NG doesn't have... Well, he's got the 23 shield training right now. Be a shame to waste that, but, you know, whatever. You got 8 health each jump. Yeah. Lanius Sector did not give me a Lanius like I was hoping, but that's okay. Uh, board the station, look for survivors, scrap some of the debris. Hmm... I got some debris and fairy. Heh. <laughs> F-E-R-R-Y, mind you. Um, I could man... I don't have sensors to man. And doors are already manned. So, really, just setting you into a section... I could actually put you on doors, and the NG now is free to be mobile. But the NG has lower attack power, so it's probably best if I keep him there. Got a decent crew. 
6 of 8, so we're doing okay. Mantis or Zoltan? I don't want to deal with Zoltan's shields. I don't have an ion weapon, so I guess Mantis. I have a nice, enough crew. If I had a Mantis on board, it'd be great. Alright, looks like I can actually just skate around the bottom here. Look at that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean, I could just go all the way around the bottom. Because why not? Because there's probably some bad things happening around there. And all of these connect to the exit, so... Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> a little bit unconventional for me, but why not? Um, he's got two shields now. Oh, and he can shoot down my hacking drones. <sighs> hmm. And he's got a med bay. This isn't the kind of ship I want to deal with. I can mind control, though. <clears throat> We've got that going for us. So, if I mind control the helm, when my weapons are ready to fire, which they are, mind control the helm, temporarily he's going to have lower evade. If I attack the chain laser into his shield room, uh, yeah, I actually don't have enough firepower to pierce and do any damage. So really the only thing I have going for me is maybe the bio beam. Now he's going to be stuck in there. Trying to heal. Please dodge one of those. No. Alright, there you go. I killed two of them. Yeah, there's no way I can, you know, do enough damage. If I mind control him... And then bio beam them, you know. That might do something. No. So if I mind control him, I don't know how damaging damaged he is, but um, there, he's not going to heal while he's mind controlled. So I might have a moment. Oh, thank you for dodging. Okay, he can't dodge now. I was going to try and repair that. This might work out for me. Alright, there we go. I got an Ion Blast. Okay. That, that settles where I'm going to put my next upgrade, because I need to take out one shield before I can do any damage. Alright, so let's just wait for this to heal up. You know. Hmm... I really want to get more engine power now, if you don't mind. 